G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Modern Warfare AN-94. This weapon is from Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but it's been ported over to Fallout 4 by a Warfighter's Workshop, and you can tell it's made by him because the weapon is obscenely loud. But don't worry, we've fixed the volumes here, you won't have your ears bleeding listening to this thing fire, because I'm just nice like that. Consider that a personal favour. So the AN-94 is quite an interesting weapon in and of itself. This is a fairly modernized version of it, but originally these are around during the 1980s to be one of the prospective successors to the AK-74, which was the Russians' sort of main rifle at the time. And the reason it didn't go through and the Russians aren't using this is because it's way too expensive and a little bit complex. And that's because of the feeding system and what it actually does. So you'll note that the mag sort of canted off to the side like that. That's not an error on the modder's part. That's actually what this weapon is like in real life. And it helps it because the way they've got the bolts is that you fire this thing, it fires two shots super fast, like at 1800 rounds per minute, but you won't feel the recoil and until the second shot, so it's like a really quick burst like that, snap of a finger, and I guess the reason they made that is just to defeat body armor, get those rounds super close together, so one hits the body armor, makes a hole, another one goes straight through it, or just rather for a little bit more damage downrange, make it a little bit make it hit harder if you get one shot that's good then two shots will be good instead it's an interesting design um don't think it's too useful there's been a couple of uh weapons that really have gone by and like i think the rush is using the ak-12 now so yeah this thing was never formally adopted i don't think but that's okay because it's in video games we can get we can have fun with its quirky nature so this is cool we've got custom sounds and animations as well so We'll get started on the receivers, which we're going to scroll all the way down and grab the advanced auto receive, which is only doing 88 damage. I debate this exceptional. 88 damage is not a lot. I reckon we could get more out of a standard assault rifle, so that's interesting. Also, we can change the barrels, and what you want to do is find the longest barrel possible. That'll give you the greatest range, although this one is not the longest barrel. It's got a little bit of a brace thing there. That's cool. Prevents extra weight from damaging the spring housing. You know, that's good. And we can change the stock on this thing. So if you want a compact version, you can fold that stock around. That's what it looks like around the back there. And then you can find some of these more tactical scopes. That looks like a one that they'd use for a AK-74U. Something really light like that. And the AN-94 Factory Heavy seems to be the one to reduce the most recoil. And looks fairly comfortable too, so we shall use that one. And for the ammunition, this is basically your magazine thing. And you can have a big 60 round casket mag there, it's big fat rounds. And uh, we'll be doing that. You'll also note how it's got the 5.45 by 39 that's actually the Russian rounds. Um, it doesn't use the 5.56 NATO rounds, which is what is standard in. Um, Fallout 4, so you're going to have to actually craft these things on a workbench, we'll get to that in a second, but it is a little bit of a pain in the ass, and there's no round conversion either to make it so your um, vanilla game 5.56 five, rounds will work in this. I get that it fires different rounds in real life, we're playing Fallout 4, and you know, I'd like it to have the bullets that are already in the game. There's some models who do this, and some models that don't bother with it, and I guess that's just up to their respective ways of doing it. So you've got a bunch of sites on here. They're all sort of discount off-brand names of what they actually are. Like, this is a Cobra or a Cobra Reflex Light IRL, but yeah, this one. It's called a Viper because that's a snake, and so is a Cobra. And there's also the Hollow sites, and um, you can make it cursed by putting an American site on it. There we go. There's an Eerie Tech right there, sort of discount version. <laughs> Even at American origin, yes, that's what makes it cursed. Now... We can chuck on some stuff on the muzzle, including a sonic brake. Mitigates hyperburst recoil without increasing the weapon's sound signature. That's nice, but we're going to make it a little bit more quiet, at least for the enemies. It'll still be super loud for us, but we'll go for a monolithic suppressor because it sounds cool if I put that one on. Statistically, it's all the same as the other ones, but yeah, there's just compensators and flash guards. It's not too much there that's super new. And you can put some rubber around the grip if you feel like it with adhesive... Less stable, but very agile, according to this. And less steady, but helps control recoil. Yep, we'll, we'll try to reduce that recoil as much as possible. And you can put paints on it. This one's called Commodore, but it's not like Holden Commodore. It looks like, like Commodore 64, old-style computers. So, I don't know, that's the wrong Commodore. That's kind of cringe, to be honest. But, 
You can chuck a foregrip on there if you want. It's an angled foregrip and a different sort of angled foregrip. We'll go for the commando one because it's what the weapons perk and boost get. Now we're only doing 110 damage, so I'm going to flip this all the way up to rank 5 plus 80% just to give me a little bit more of a fighting chance. But now it comes to the camouflages, which you cannot actually apply without actually hunting down what you want. So, if you want to find one of these paint jobs, you got to go and hunt for it. Which, I think this is actually a really cool idea. I like this so much because you just got to think to yourself, Okay, where might I find a bunch of bears, or myalurks, or red scorpions? And you can go and seek out the uh, things like that. It's good. You can somehow pull Zebra Camo out of a bear as well. How good's that? And there's also gold, which requires a bunch of other things. And there's platinum as well. And there's Damascus, which is like the Super Mega Ultra. Look at me, I'm a tryhard. I'm using the AN94 for 500 hours paint job. That's cool. And like the Call of Duty thing, you can sort of, uh, I guess, mirror or... What's the word? Approximate the perks you can get. So you can just use this to give yourself extraction points. Faster reload. Not super necessary on this because the reload is already fast enough. And that one just gives you the nimble legendary effect, I guess. And ready up and marathon a good speed. I don't know what that does. It doesn't tell you. Maybe it makes you run faster. And for the uh, secondary one, we're going to chuck on Perceptive because that's VATS enhanced and the rest of these kind of do limited amounts. And we'll chuck on Blast Shield. Slices all damage you receive ex considerably. Whether that's explosive damage or just normal damage, I don't know, but I can't go past that. You can also have falling damage negated. That's cool. And we've got no legendary effect on it, although I'm cute. I'm, uh. <laughs> Maybe we should just chuck on Furious. Furious would make this thing very powerful. Maybe not. Alright, so there's our AN94. Let's get down to business. In your chemistry station, you'll find a Modern Warfare AN94 thing. Here you can craft the weapon with gun nut rank 4. Ooh, it's a high level weapon. There you go. And you can also craft the bullets. For 4 lead, you get 30 bullets. So, we're going to hammer this for a moment. And then we're going to make like a billion bullets. Let that go down. Yes. All the bullets for me. Just want to do a quick comparison between this gun's damage and stuff already in the vanilla game. So, the one without the suppressor, without Ace Operator, 1, 2, 3 damage, and 1, 5, 4 for the suppressed variant. So, beats out the 10mm pistol, the assault rifle, the combat rifle. It's weird how the combat rifle does more damage. The pipe rifle, obviously, but the handmade is right on par with the suppressed variant. So, I'm going to be totally fine in just pushing this to prestige rank 5 because I feel like it'll be... A little bit underpowered if I don't do that. So you can all get out of here now. Goodbye. But maybe this thing's massive rate of fire will help counter that a little bit. We'll have to see how we go. Alright, so here we are outside of the Immersive Gunners Plaza. And this is the AN94 in first person. It's got that classic COD sprint when you sprint with it, which is cool. And this is what it looks like in third person. Pretty well sized. No clipping or anything to be had here. Looks pretty good. Well, so I like it. Also, it works with classic holstered weapons. Yeah, look at that. Also, this is the King Grognak outfit. I would ported it from Fallout 76. It's like, the, the since the lighting systems in the game are different, all of the shiny metal stuff in-game in Fallout 76 is sort of faded to a black, which is like, it's like it's 200 years old. It's like an ancient suit of armor that uh, Al is wearing from an ancestor, so that, that kind of works out. Anyways, let's get started in shooting stuff with the AN-94, and we'll look and see if we get both of the hits in. Yep, that works. So right now, we're getting glorious sneak criticals. Probably won't last for super long here. Alright, we're definitely on now, and um, we might be in a bit of trouble here. I'm going to absolutely spam the crap out of the trigger. We actually just got a 1,000 XP from that, thanks to Idiot Savant. And this is why I gave it the uh, legendary effect, which makes it, uh, or rather, the, the VATS enhanced legendary effect. Because I can get a big gun through streak on right now. 1, 2, few, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, okay. And I'm going to... Throw some criticals in here. We'll get those criticals back as we're going further in. Actually, if I get most of the killing done, I won't bother critting them the second time. We'll go for a crit here. That should be almost enough. 
and an instant critical on that. Also, the barrel reciprocates, that's sort of, uh, that helps with the recoil reduction of that, and... Look, the feeding system is way too advanced for me to describe in a video about a video game adaptation of the weapon ported from another video game, but if you watch, uh, Forgotten Weapons, he knows a thing or two about guns. I think he'll have better insights than I. And now there's a grain next to us, so I'm going to make sure I don't get any damage from that. There we go. We'll just use the VAT's damage reduction there. It looks like we can absolutely smash massive rates of uh, fire out of this if we just hammer the trigger, so we'll do this at really close range. So you can get a good time to kill, but you're gonna push that four lead for 30 bullets pretty soon here. You'll have to get like a shipment of lead and then get a bunch of bullets out of that instead. We did get a cheeky level up there and there doesn't appear to be a ton of uh, <laughs> of uh, MG42s today, so that's lucky. Let's use this one. It's got the... I think it's like a PKA scope, but it's not actually. Kind of is not. And that's what it sounds like. Ooh, nice. He goes flying. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. That's just... Todd Thesda physics going on there. And this thing definitely sounds pretty hardcore when it's loud and proud. It's just a shame that it's drowned so much out. Look, I get that games, video game guns are loud. In Battlefield, the, the guns are loud, but come on. Let's just let's have a think about it for a second. It's It doesn't need to be like this. So we've still got a crap ton of gunners to deal with. I'm going to just breach this room. She'll be right. I'll deal with those gunners a little bit. Probably want to jump down the back and maybe have a different run at him. Maybe? Eight lead. Decent hip fire. Actually, we might get us over in a nerd rage here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Definitely going to be using the suppressed one. I just like that ace operator bonus just to be there. There we go. So it looks like we can out DPS all the handmade stuff. The handmade rifles and Wow. That's, uh, talk about being suppressed there. I'll peek and try to get something going on. Okay. Maybe we just go over here, and we're not going to get another level up, so we probably have to stim pack here because it's getting ridiculous, but it feels like there's more gunners than usual here at Gunner Plaza. Ah, oh, yes. You can always count on the massive bash damage of this thing as well. There we go. That's something to instantly kill them. Perfect. That's the way to go. And we're slipping back into caution here. I might just wait just for a second. See if we can't get it back. Someone's saying really pissing me off. That's uh, the idea. Don't worry, you won't be pissed off by the time you're dead. There we go. Really lacking the functionality of having those two really accurate shots because it's almost like having a... It's almost like doubling my sneak multipliers, which is like producing 8.8 .8 times damage, which is fucking huge, dude. And, oh, that's an MG42. I am going to back off a little bit. We don't have a ton of gunners left to kill, but if we can maintain the stealth, and when we're in rain, um, it is possible. I might just go for a little bit of vats and... Uh, yes, we'll go for vats. We'll shoot some criticals. Also, another thing, since this thing is technically automatic, and I haven't been using it as such, but since it is technically automatic, you'll have a three-round burst in VATS. And we're going to keep smashing these criticals. Nice. Thousand damage, quite like that one. And every shot beyond that is going to be a guaranteed critical. Oh, so close now. Is there a award you get in COD if you kill something when you're, like, basically dead? Is that is that a thing? I don't remember if that's a thing or not. The only COD I've consumed is watching other people play it, namely my brother. Because <laughs> I'd never played it myself. Never, not really fast enough to play, you know, but... I think there's a gunner, like, right here. Honestly, I think we're pretty much done here. And we might slip back into caution in a second, or back into hidden, we'll start regenerating health, because that's how this game works. I might just cut and find the last couple. But first, a tactical use of ghoulish. Yes, this will be brilliant. It's all healthy, recharging the old energy shields. 
Well, there's one gunner. We'll terminate him with extreme prejudice. All right. Couple more to go now. Ah, there you are. Naughty had an MG42. That's no good. Have to get rid of that. And I think... I believe that's it. Also, it makes this sort of bash noise despite not hitting anything. That's weird. All right, well... I think we get the point here. Let's move on to a big monster and AN94 it to death. All right, that one's dead now. Well, let's go. Let's move on. Okay, let's continue this fight. And there's going to be a super mutant in there. We'll clean him up. Boy, oh boy, there's a big old damage difference between shooting him without a suppressor. But we'll just keep on going anyway and yeah we're doing 100 and now we're doing like 16 so let's just increase our that's critical amount maybe there we go we got two there and maybe okay maybe he's aggroed by something else he is throwing rocks at something that is down there that's them super dead now it's hard to keep on target but he's such a big dude so that's okay i think it's gonna start raining again unfortunately it is automatic. There's the automatic fire. The recoil... The recoil uh, animation is actually... S it's oddly satisfying. I think they did a good job there. I'll try to execute some criticals here so you can see that they're reciprocating barrel. There we go. That was more of a face close-up there. An expression thing. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that's camera. You can make some pretty good stuff. Ah, can't kill me in Becker's armor. We're used to getting punched and crap all the time here. It, uh, and by the way, it doesn't actually do anything. Except bring the rain, apparently. Ow. Just bring plenty of rain. So, hey, we actually got a thing from a scrounger there. That's helpful. Let's just get some criticals back. And these guaranteed headshots are pretty nice. There we go. Managed to get a couple of bit lucky then. There we go. Take this, spawn. It's okay. Like, with the sneak criticals, it's so much more powerful. But that's okay. I can forgive it. These guys are pretty spongy. Not all guns are designed to fight these gigantic monster runies. So I'm okay with it not being super effective here. If I wanted to get criticals back, I should probably use the one with the reflex sight. But don't you worry, I'm gonna bring out I'm gonna bring out the suppressed one for when we get into nerd raid. Did we actually shoot that rock out of the air? I think we might have. He didn't even hit me with that one. And now, when we're in slow motion, since this thing fires like as fast as you can pull the trigger, we are going to absolutely shred his face. Yes. He hates that. Look at that damage. Look at the traces. It's like infinite laser beams. And I can't believe we did all of that without the thing jamming. <laughs> Would have jammed in real life for sure, but... <sighs> that DPS, though. There we go. Also, is the camera shaky? It is. Is that because Call of Duty cameras are shaky? I don't want to look at that anymore. I'm getting I'm getting car sick. I'm getting car sick from playing Fallout 4. Okay, I want to check out what this thing can do when actually sneaking during the night. Oh, wow. With the staggers on this thing? Oh, that's going to make me unstoppable. Okay, I'm not done there, though. I want to do this with VAT. It's going to be unreal. Don't worry. Hang on. What have we got over here? I spy with my little life. Feral ghouls. It's usually feral ghouls around here. Hop right over the fence. There we go. And you know what? Let's take these bugs out as well. It's always nice to destroy a few bugs. Isn't that right, Fallout 76? Isn't that right? Well, that mantis had a good time. He actually took a lot of bullets, so good for him. Or rather, she, because uh, the female mantis. Mantits. That's... That's the plural, man tits. The female man tits are the ones that you usually see. Okay, here's something that I want to try out. We've all seen this, what this thing can do with nerd rage when something is looking at you in slow motion. But what if you slow down time using jet, but stealth commander them with a 3, 4.4 uh, times multiplier? I guess we ought to find out. So 
We'll have the shutter jet, and we'll just open fire and just spam as many bullets as we possibly can. And there's 60 rounds down already in the space of like two seconds, maybe even less. And that's almost the big bear dead. Let's finish off his friends. Let's see if we can finish this off, finish this whole group off before before uh, the jet wears off. Oh boy, yes we can. Wow, this thing is made to be used with jet. Maybe it's a little bit too much to give it prestige rank 5, although against your your standard dudes, um you will get it will get eaten up a lot by ammo, but you know what? There's a bunch of dead bears. We'll at least finish this video off by giving it a nice new paint job here with this random flowing floating bear giblet. Bear giblet of blood when you shoot at it. Wow, that that was amazing. The AN-94 is just made to do stuff like that. Burst fire weapons are crazy in slow motion. And with this new snazzy zebra paint job, and I guess they were just zebras in costumes, they were very convincing. I think that's about it for the Modern Warfare AN-94. If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, check out the links in the description below. There should be a link down there. If there's an Xbox One port, I'll be sure to add that one too. And I would highly recommend this thing. It's been a great fun weapon to use. The functionality, its quirkiness in real life, I think is really well reflected. And you can make it even more broken if you feel like it. If you use it in VATS with a suppressor with a stealth commando playstyle. So it's good fun. I highly implore you to get this mod if you feel like it. Um, also, I won't be distributing this current outfit because that's against Bethesda's terms of service. This is for personal use. But if you want, I can teach you how to do it. Thank you very much for watching, guys.